Hi everyone, in this video I will show you what needs to be set up to make appointment system work for you and your customers. Uh, first let's go to help section, uh, appointment, set up appointment system. This is where you can find all steps which I'm going to describe in this video. So you can follow them step by step and everything will work for you. So. Uh, let's start. So step one is uh, set up locations. In this section you need to make sure that you have location and the uh, location has working hours. Let's go to dashboard and navigate to locations section. And here you will see that you already have the one which was created together with um, whole application for you. So you can use this one, you can just open and verify that everything is filled correctly. Um, you can also add more locations if you want. Uh, next, we're going to working hours section. You can go it from here or from top of location grid. And uh, so on this page, uh, you need to set up several things. Uh, so first section is uh, working hours. Uh, this is just general working hours. General Monday, General Tuesday, General Wednesday without specific date. So let's say you open Monday, you say that on Monday you are open and uh, let's say you work from 8 in the morning and um, till noon and uh, then you have some lunch and you open again starting from 2 p.m. and you work till let's say till 6 p.m. <clears throat> now you can select you can either apply it to Monday only or you can apply it to multiple if you open a provide to multiple, you can select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you click apply and everything saved. And the uh, next section is uh, working hours exceptions. What it means? Uh, it means that if you want to change your schedule for a specific date, you can create exception. For instance, uh, on uh, Christmas day, you probably don't work. So you can go ahead and create exception for Christmas. So just find December 25 and say that you don't work this day. Okay. And you can also go to December 24 and let's say you are open but you just work in the morning. Okay, you are done with locations. Step two, set up services. On uh, this step, we will add services which are obviously needed for booking. So let's go to CRM and navigate to services tab. And uh, let's add a few services for demo purposes. Let's see. So first service I will just copy from paper which I already prepared, let it be bear trim and uh, duration let's say 45 minutes and price is uh, 100 in your currency. Duration is uh, extremely important for appointment system and you can add some description and optionally upload some image and click save. And let's add another one. Let's see what I have here. Traditional wet shave. And let's say duration will be 60 minutes. Price will be 150. And let's also add some description and upload image. So we basically are already done with a step two. 
Let's now go to the last step, set up barbers. On this step we will add barbers to your system and we will set working hours for each barber and uh, select services provided by each barber. All these things are extremely important for appointments and I will later show you why. So let's go back to CRM system and navigate to barbers page. And let's start adding barbers. Click Add Barber, set his title, let it be Senior Barber, and uh, let's set his first name, last name is optional, but you can still set it. Location is a default location to which Barber is assigned, and uh, in our case we have just one, so one is selected by default. Color is a uh, Cover for barber which is used in uh, working schedule and appointment schedule. So you can basically select any. Let's say such and click apply. Form, email, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook accounts. They are optional and just used in uh, mobile applications, widgets, uh, everywhere where your clients may create bookings and uh, to provide them with more information. So, um, photo is also optional, but let's select one. And uh, description, same is just optional. So, let's click to save. And we created first barber. Let's first create another one. Let's say this one will be just plain barber, not a senior one. And his name, let's say, will be Richard. And save. <clears throat> Next step we need to select services which are provided by each barber. So in action section you should select services, click and here you can see a list of services which we added on the previous step. Uh, you can select which services are provided by John since he is a Senior Barber, he probably provides all services. And please pay attention to one more thing. On this tab you can also set custom duration and custom price uh, for each service, for each barber. It means if John is a senior barber, probably his price may be higher than general ones. So you can say that his price is 150 and uh, he does shaving faster for 30 minutes. And now you can save. And let's also select services for Richard. Richard is a just general barber and he doesn't do traditional wet shave. Let's say he only provides beard trim. And let's save. And next important thing to do, uh, we should select when our barbers actually work. So let's see, let's go to Working schedule, first for John. Here we actually can switch from Richard to John, but we start from John. And uh, by clicking on select all, you just define for September same working schedule as uh, for barbershop, the one which you set up on our first step when configuring locations. But you can modify it, let's say if barber doesn't work same time frames as a, a barber shop, you can click on pencil icon and let's say that he only works in the morning. And here you can select apply to multiple or just apply to few few days. You can say on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday he only works in the morning and click apply. And now you also need to save. OK. And um, let's also select for Richard role. For him we will just select general one. Select all and save. OK. This is all on uh, step three. Let's now validate our results. So now we want to check that our appointment system works correctly. 
Uh, let's see. Uh, we just uh, set up working hours for Richard Rowe and John Doe. And uh, let's just remember that on Monday, September 2, um, Richard Rowe works whole day and John Doe works only at the morning. And uh, if you remember, let's go back to Barbers, that uh, John Doe provides all services, I mean two of them, and uh, Richard Rowe provides only one service, Bear Dream. Okay, so let's first validate from uh, CRM side. Let's go to Appointments tab and let's start adding new appointment. Uh, at the moment we don't have new customers, so let's try to find any, but system... Oh, okay, we already have the one. So we will select customer and let's select John Doe and on uh, Monday 2nd of September he is only available at the morning you can see so if I deselect Barber you will see already many time frames because we also have Richard Rowe which works at the second half of the day uh, so let's uh, go other way around and first select time in the afternoon and then now I click to show all barbers, I will only see Richard Rowe because John Doe, as you remember, doesn't work. Okay, so let's select Richard Rowe and then we need to select service. We click service and you will only see here bear trim because as you remember, Richard Rowe uh, provides only this service. He doesn't know uh, how to do traditional wet uh, shaving. Uh, so let's close it for now and uh, deselect Richard row, deselect time and um, now we again can select John Doe and if I now click services you'll now see both of them because both of them are provided by John Doe. So let's, let's uh, select traditional wet shave and uh, it will be 8 at the morning. Suggested price is the one which we set up, I mean custom price, because John Doe does it uh, more expensively. And um, now you can also select that confirmation email or SMS will be sent to customers and when it will be sent. For now let's don't do it. And same for reminder, you can select uh, that reminder will be sent and when it will be sent and what it will be, email or SMS, but let's now just don't do it. Okay, now we click save and we have one created appointment. Let's now do the same from customer side. <clears throat> let's go to appointment widget. Let's wait a second and yeah. So now you can see that uh, this is a, a point with widget for customers and let's take a look how it looks from customer side. Uh, let's try to select Barber and let's first select Richard Row and click service and now you can see exactly the same service as only one which is provided by Richard. Let's better select John Doe Let's also select the same service and now we can select dated time and um, as you can see here if I click on 2nd of September uh, 8 o'clock is already not available because uh, it was already booked and the uh, service duration is 60 minutes that's why next service we can only book at 9. So you can select and click next and here you customer need to provide his first last name, email and phone to confirm, to confirm this booking. Uh, I will not be doing it now. So that's all for this topic. Wait for next video. Good luck and waiting for your feedbacks.